what is this, March 13th? Like, look at this. One day he just hit seven. Just like, how? Like, at that point, you're just do you must be doing it because either A, you have absolutely no life, or B, you're literally trying to see how much <laughs> trauma your dick can <laughs> go through. What's up guys, Derek, moreplacemoredeats.com. Today we are going to be talking about the uh, Redditor that uh, did the opposite of NoFap. So this is something I didn't find myself. I came across uh, watching the uh, PKA podcast the other day. So um, basically what this guy did was he kept count of how many times he nutted per day in 2020, which <laughs> it's fucking so ridiculous. But you can see how much hype this thread got. 2,700 comments. And this is quite the elaborate spreadsheet, dude. Like he has the total amount per month. So January all the way to December, the quantity of nuts, um, how often, how much, so how many times per day, averaging per month, which is interesting how it seems to trend down as the seasons change. So he goes from full force in fucking... Uh, well, I guess in uh, January seems to be missing on the sheet here, but February after Valentine's Day, he just goes fucking ham on the dank until March. And then he sort of, uh, you know, tails off a little bit until the end of the year. He's kind of like, uh, I don't know, he's kind of <laughs> averaging out at like two fucking faps per day. So here we can see daily average equals 1.86 faps, um, yearly total 681 with an interestingly ridiculous spike in March around, what is this, March 13th? Like, look at this shit. One day he just hit seven. Just like, how, like at that point, you're just, do you must be doing it because either A, you have absolutely no life, or B, you're literally trying to see how much fucking <laughs> trauma your dick can <laughs> go through. Because at that point, it's not pleasurable at all realistically like it's practically painful after like that many i would think to the point where it's like you must be like loathing your fucking dick when you're actually fucking yanking it at that point so um let's see some of the top comments like basically his description was just this from what i can tell unless i'm missing something but obviously not safe for work by the way uh, <laughs> um so oh top thing so why did you nut seven times <laughs> On my birthday, edit. Thank you for all the words. Just promise me you won't beat off on my birthday this year. Uh, it's funny. So I guess that's coming up pretty quick here, right? So I guess, uh, <laughs> fuck, this thing's so dumb. I hope someone is nutting seven times today. Something about these this fucking comment is absolutely killing me. Um, Dan, damn, seven times in one day, did your pee-pee feel like <laughs> sandpaper after? Um, not to take anything away from OP, but when stationed in o Okinawa, I hit 13 times in one day, excruciating. Dude, even on my like most hectic blast of anabolic steroids ever, I never hit it that many times. My buddy did it, it was so much, he was ejaculating blood, Jesus fuck. Doc told him he traumatized his penile tract. It's gotta be bullshit, dude. Like if you were that horny that you kept going even after your fucking dick was spewing blood, like come on. Haha, <laughs> seriously, this is the first question that popped into my head as well. If they're 15 to 18, it's understandable. But even still, I don't think I had nearly that sax drive back then. Never mind even just at 24 if I'm in the mood to jerk off once a day. That's a rarity. Uh, let's see. Opie, how old are you? Opie is 17 years old. So I would hope nobody... Uh, is this a reasonable experiment if you're 17 years old? Like, This is the kind of thing that would stop you from making progress in life, in my opinion. This is this is the kind of guy who would benefit from NoFap. Like usually when people talk about NoFap as this like revolutionary way to fucking, you know, fix your mind and do all this shit. It's like for most individuals, it's not going to be, it can almost be more distracting. Like sure, every day that you don't fap, it feels like you're working towards some like God mode state that you're eventually going to transcend into fucking like telepathy or some shit and like be able to fucking um, become like greater being of uh, the fucking men around you and everyone else sucks and you're this like sick willpower guy who just powers through shit and has like the fucking charisma and this like attraction to women. They can sense that you're like holding your nut in. But in reality, it's probably mostly gonna benefit guys like this who are just sitting in their house trying to break fucking seven nuts in a day. 
So what is the more, like, what was the, what was the goal of this other than getting a few laughs? Like, that's what I want to know. Like, what was he sitting down and thinking? I'm going to do this for a whole year. And at the end of it thinking, like, this is what my year was comprised of. Like looking, maybe it was in order to show himself how much time he's wasting. That might be uh maybe not a bad idea then. If you did, uh, it's almost like tracking your, uh, your expenses. And then you like look at your budgeting at the end of the, at the end of the month. And you see like, holy fuck, I wasted my money on all this shit. And then you sort of like reallocate your budget. Maybe that's what he was doing. Cause I can't see any other reason <laughs> this to make any fucking sense. So if anyone could use no fap, it's this guy for sure. Let's see his yearly total 681 and some aggressive fucking streaks. It looks like on May 24th, he actually did not fat for 24 hours, which is, uh, impressive but then on the day after he uh relapsed ag aggressively and busted five nuts so obviously that didn't uh, work too well. <laughs> didn't work too well so like you imagine how fucked your mind is from the kind of porn you're watching after you've hit like six nuts in a day so what can you gather from the shit it is uh don't do it first of all <laughs> like this is not reasonable like even for a guy on like hordes of gear this is not reasonable so is no fap something you should try i don't it depends dude if you're this guy like yeah if you're doing like two or more times a day i'd probably say like try it dude see what happens just do it as an experiment and uh, see what happens to your mental state see what happens to your productivity mostly see how much time you spend on other more productive shit that you otherwise would have been wasting it because it's like this is time like absolutely sunk and gone you're not working towards anything that you can accomplish at the end of it like it's just fucking literally wasted time so you know like at least if you're even if you're like sitting there eating or something if you're bodybuilding and you're eating you're like actively putting on muscle tissue or if you're fucking sleeping you're actively recovering you're doing something <laughs> that's conducive towards like some sort of actual like goal per perhaps but for this this is like this is nothing like this is like the equivalent of just doing drugs recreationally that have no merit towards your productivity your work or whatever so yeah this is fucking rough and hopefully this guy was just giving himself a reality check because his thread blew up so you know it's everyone basically just saying uh march was a tough month for all of us brother on to <laughs> 2021 oh yeah i didn't even think about that so maybe that's why he was uh, going ham in march um oh yeah i guess you're you know if you're home the whole fucking time you know it's uh, more incentive to fap i guess Jesus, how much money did your dick owe you? <laughs> uh, this is the most Redditor shit I think I've ever witnessed. Yeah, so huge fucking thread. Check it out if you're interested. <laughs> but I mean, the moral of the story, don't uh, get sucked into uh, porn, dude. Like, it's not the worst thing in the world to watch once in a while and, you know, to fap and, like, get it off your, uh, get it off your mind and just get back to work and shit. But I mean, when you get to this stage, it's like you have a problem, you know? So... Anyways, the no fap thing. I tried it, by the way. If you haven't seen my no fap on steroids video, <laughs> go check that out. And I give my insight on to uh, if it's worth it, what my experience was. Um, it wasn't that long of an experiment, but um, it certainly has its merits for certain individuals. So you can check that out if you're interested. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, check out my blog, moreplacemoredates.com. Follow me on Instagram at moreplace underscore more dates, Facebook, Snapchat, Bitchu, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts if you want to support the channel you can check out anything i'm associated with in the video description below my trt clinic it's all telemedicine from the comfort of your own home um and my recommended lab test panels are in the description below as well that you can order gorilla mine nootropic formulas gorilla mode pre-workout formulas i designed myself from scratch and anything else i am associated with it's all in the video description below thank you guys for watching talk to you soon